Ah, finally getting my hands on Titan Quest, an action RPG available on Steam, iOS, and Android, priced at $9.99 for the Legendary Edition and $19.99 for the full game with all the DLC included. The game offers a deep RPG experience. Over my 12 hours of playtime, I explored the game's core mechanics and some unique features. You start out as a soon-to-be hero, embarking on quests to gain XP and level up aiming to become the renowned hero of the area. The gameplay centers around you slaying various monsters, including elite monsters and bosses, while earning leveling points to refine your character's class. The standout elements is the diverse set of builds you can create, choosing a melee-focused build, relying on summons, or going for a bow and arrow build, all of it's available to you. The flexibility of mixing two classes to suit your desired playstyle adds significant depth to the character customization. The game's dual class system is reminiscent of Grim Dawn, which makes sense as some of the developers of Titan Quest went on to go work and create Grim Dawn. The visuals are decent, though a bit rough around the edges at times, with some animations needing improvement. The HD version might address some of the graphical issues, and the audio can sometimes be hit or miss. Sometimes the score fits well, but you'll often hear the same sound effects as you repeatedly use the same frequent abilities. The control scheme works fairly well on touch controls, but it's best with a controller once you have everything mapped to your liking. Character progression is clear and allows for significant customization based on your class choices. The game excels in giving players control. You can increase the base speed of the game, making leveling swift and enjoyable. The loop filter is a must-have in any action RPG, and it does well here. The diverse classes offer a reason to replay the game, trying out new combinations and strategies, and the difficulty level feels balanced. Though I'm only going to speak up to level 30 as I kept going back and trying out new characters. The game's mythology-inspired setting provides a refreshing change from the typical dark fantasy themes. With its settings in ancient Greece, Egypt, and the Silk Road to Asia, it offers rich and engaging world to explore. I loved playing Path of Exile on Steam, and is actually my most played game on the platform. Titan Quest is arguably as close as you're going to get until Path of Exile 2 comes around. However, there are a few issues where the game can improve. There's no way to filter for specific kinds of weapons or armor, which can be frustrating if you're looking for items to suit a particular build, such as a regen build. Mapping your main AoE attack is a bit complicated on controller and took me longer than I expected in setting up to my liking. The early levels can feel a bit repetitive as you follow the same pattern of finding mobs, grouping them together, and hitting them with some kind of AoE attack. This is common in the genre, but I feel better animations would alleviate some of the tedium. Additionally, there were minor bugs with the game slowing down in high traffic areas and some graphical glitches such as incorrect walking animations. I also didn't like seeing items that you couldn't actually use because it required the DLC. I wish that this was automatically filtered out if you didn't have all of the DLC. Overall, I love Titan Quest and I highly recommend it, especially if you're a fan of games like Path of Exile, Diablo, or Torchlight. It's one of the better action RPGs available on mobile offering substantial replay value and depth. Fans of these titles will find it to be an incredibly competent action RPG where you can sink tens to hundreds of hours. I experimented with four completely different classes eager to test out new builds, and although there may be some great story behind the game, I also didn't focus on it as my main interest lies in the gameplay mechanics and character builds. I'm excited to return and build the ultimate retaliation build, as is my usual preference in such games. So, despite some minor issues, the game's strengths far outweigh its weaknesses. If you have any recommendations for me to review, leave them in the comments section below. Otherwise, stay tuned in to Gaming in the Moment.